So in the second part of the project, we're going to set up this summary table right here. I have it set up on this sheet right next to all of my data. You can have it set up in a different way, but the goal is to summarize all of these expenses and break it down by types of loans so we can see it all together. Because right now we have everything listed out. You might have it in a different format. I have it listed out all in the columns. It's a lot of information. It's the four years of college listed out by expense. And we know now, we have the calculation here, that's going to cost over $130,000 to pay for school for those four years. Where is that money coming from? Well, some of it will come from direct cash payments, but the majority of it will come from loans. As you can see here, we're taking out over $81,000 in loans. And what we're going to be doing in this project is then figure out, well, what will this really cost us? because of interest. We're not just going to pay $130,000, we're going to pay far more than that because we have to pay off the interest on the loans we've taken to pay for school. And if we scroll up here, you have a copy, you have access to this spreadsheet, so you can just click and then if you're using a uh, keyboard or trackpad it's easier to hold the shift button and then when you're holding shift, press different directions on your keyboard. I'm going to press right, right, and then down, down, down. Or just hold the down button all the way and press up if you go too far. And then control or command C, copy it, and then control or command V, paste it. Now, you can control, copy, and paste. You can set that up. If you want the nice shading like I have right here, all you have to do is select the area you're looking at. It might actually copy the shading pattern. I encourage you to click on format go to alternating colors, and then pick whatever color you want. Right? You can change the header. It's a cool way of sorting this out because now with the alternating colors, it's a little bit easier to read your table. So why don't you take a moment, pause the video, and do that. Get Copy and paste this information somewhere into your spreadsheet. All right, so I'm assuming now you have it copied and pasted. The next step is to start entering formulas. You could go like this. right? You can copy and paste the formulas here. Right, these are the notes that tell you what formulas to enter. Notice right here for direct subsidized loan, I'm calling on B42. So if I go over here, I go to B, and I scroll down to 42, I can see that is the number I have for my direct subsidized loan for my freshman year. So if I change this number, say to 4,500, the idea is that my summary would change with it. But nothing's happening right now because I have to delete this little quotation mark. Delete and see it will now match that number. But I don't want to change numbers yet, so I'm going to undo that. And I would just go through and delete these little quotation marks. Right? As you go through and delete, 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 think about what we're doing. All we're doing here is we're taking the direct subsidized loans from each of the four years, and it could be, this should be a different amount, right? It starts at 3,500 and then goes up. Here's the cap right here and then we sum them up, we add up all those loans. Now we have a total for our direct subsidized loans. And this means out of all of our loans, $19,000 will acquire no interest while we're in school. That's what the subsidized part means. The government will pay the interest for you. So you're gonna go through all of these, and when you get to the bottom right here, you can still enter these in, but this one, it won't do anything yet. This is for later you need a lot more work to be completed before this uh, equation will actually produce any results. Um, so you, as you enter these right here, you might see an error. So for example, watch, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Double click, so I can see that quotation mark, delete. It's gonna not be happy, right? It's not gonna know what we're talking about, and we'll explain that later. But for most of these, these um, values right here, it'll call the information from this table. All right, hope that helped.